You're listening. 1540 AM. WULT Sandstorm. 1480 WTOX Glen Allen. 94.1 FM. W23 1DP Richmond, Virginia. Una sola estación de éxito. Ultra. Bueno, mi gente, ¿cómo están? Este es Willy King, Stop the Man, este tremera en Stop the Man's Latino Show. 8 Radio Richmond, 94.1 FM. 1540 AM y 1480 AM, mi gente, ¿cómo están hoy en día? Bueno, bueno, check this out, Richmond. So, so what I need you to do, give us a warm, warm, warm welcome to Chrissy Aiz. Chrissy, how you doing? Hello. Yeah, all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's do this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, yes. Stop. That, you know what? This is always a Stop the Madness episode here on uh, Ultra Radio Richmond. No, no me lo digas, Stop the Madness. What's going on, Chrissy? How you doing? I'm doing great, William. Finally, I get to be on Stop the Madness. What? This is so cool. <laughs> Yes, it's been in the making, it's been in the work, you know, I know you guys are so busy, especially with what's going on with your uh, new music video, right? Yes, yes, it just came out on Friday, we premiered it, finally, we've been working on it really hard, and and we finally got it done, and I'm just so happy, and I and just the way everybody's reacting to it, too, nice. is really, we're getting a lot of love, and, and, um, and yeah, I'm just, I feel so blessed. <laughs> yes. So before we get started with a lot of the questions uh, that we're going to be yeah. asking you, so who is Chrissy Aiz? Let the let the audience know who you are. <clears throat> okay, so Chrissy Aiz is an artist that began um, in the genre of freestyle music and uh, later in the 90s um, crossed over to do salsa and, um, and you know, Got her feet wet a little bit there, but unfortunately went back into the, uh, the the genre of freestyle music. Chrissy is also a cancer survivor. Chrissy's oh, a wow. mom. Yes. And uh, Chrissy's a supporter of many, many, many people. And um, she's just someone that's very happy-go-lucky. Yes. Well, you can tell on all the Facebook platforms, actually in all the social media platforms that you have. That is awesome. Uh-huh. Awesome. So, um, listen, uh, so so strong yeah. survivor of cancer, that's awesome. Right? Yeah, w- yes, yes, yes. I'm a, I'm a good, cancer survivor. Good, good. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well, bless, God bless you and bless your heart and bless your family because you. I'm pretty sure you have family and friends that were standing by, you know, giving you the, the strength and the will to to continue on. Um, you know, Absolutely. and it's sad because um, – uh, there's not a lot of attention on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and, and, yeah. and it's very, very sad uh, that there's not too much attention on what's going on, especially when it comes to um, um, cancer uh, awareness, you know? Yes, yes, yeah. And it is. And a lot of people, they do go through it, and they go through it sometimes in silence, you know? Yeah. Um, but um, I thank God that I had a, a network of people that were praying for me all the time, my church, uh, people were, my friends were praying, and and I just, my faith is so strong in in God, and that you know I didn't let it. Uh, people thought that I was in denial while I was going through it right, because right. I had such joy, but the joy that I had was because I knew that the way you know God's promises says that this too shall pass. You know, I didn't let it. Yeah, you didn't uh, let it get to you. You didn't let you take you yeah. down. Right, right, right. Yeah, I didn't, and anybody that came to visit me, I would tell them, don't come to feel sorry for me. You know, yeah, I lost my hair, I was bald, and for a woman, that's like, oh, my God, you know, women, we could be very vain, you know, like, oh, my God, our hair, that's our covering, but yeah. no, I knew that um, it was hard. I'm, I'm not going to say it was anything to say to take light, but it was hard, but I, I thank God that I that he gave me another opportunity to be able to do the things that I love to do and also to bring hope and um, to people when I talk to them that and that they're going through the same thing to tell them to, you know, to, you know, hang in there, you know, that better days are going to come. Yeah, to keep the faith. You got to You definitely have mm-hmm. to keep the faith because, um, you know, God, like, I, you know, always God works in a mir- mir- uh, mysterious ways, that's you know. Right. And, and that's, that's right. and that is true. So okay, so I just want a question about Blue Sol Trio. 
you had something to do with that, didn't you? No. <laughs> what do you I mean? always get, I'm always asked that, and I don't know, it must be a girl named Chrissy that maybe it is, yeah, but it, it's, it's on, group, but it's, I've never done anything. Stop um, the man, is this part of your bio? It is, it is on, it is, I'm going to have to send it to you. On my bio? Yeah. No, it, probably it, online, but not ah, on my Yo, bio. that's a stop the madness right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens I, when people get, a, for real, and, and you're not the first one to do that. Yeah, yeah. People have gotten my bio off online, and, uh-huh. and it's been in there. But, no, I've never had any. I've actually looked up the group to see. You know, what is that? You know, why do I keep showing up in that as a part of that group? The only group I ever was a part of was Amaretto. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. But because, you know, I had to ask because when I when I saw Blue Soul, you know, I went, I did some research on it, right? So I'm like, uh-huh. I never, I'd never heard of it, you know? So right. I'm like, okay, so because I, I went in, because I, I, I pull up a different types of bios, you know, on, on the artists and I like, because I like to know more about them. I know you uh-huh. back in a freestyle because I, you know, I used to dance for JD back in the days, you know. Uh-huh. So, so I grew up around you and and, and grew up around um uh, all the freestyle legends, you know, getting uh-huh. to know them and and being on backstage and um and and being a couple of times at your performance back in the days, um you know, because the freestyle the freestyle uh genre is is a is a, a tight net, you know, porque no uh-huh. somos no somos mucho. You know, sí, sí, sí. y solamente mm-hmm. somos en Nueva York, Chicago, Florida, <laughs> you know, no right. como en el mundo entero. So, so when I looked this up and I'm like, I said Blue Soul Trio, I'm like, I have to ask her because I, you know, I've, okay, so let me check out and see what, you know, did she take, because it actually says a lot of people don't know that Chrissy Aiz was part of Blue Soul Trio. <laughs> You're like, I don't know where that came I, from. I, I, I was, <laughs> you know what I'm going to do today? <laughs> today I'm going to say. <laughs> Yo, that's a stop the madness right there. Stop the madness. So tell us a yeah. little bit. So, okay, so you're, you're, you're switching. I mean, I know you did a salsa back then, right? And, I, and yeah. if I'm not mistaken, I was with uh, Luis Peric Ortiz, right? Yep, yep, when we were in RMM, yep. Mm-hmm. So how was that experience? Because Luis Peric Ortiz, he's a legend in the salsa genre. Phenomenal. So how, how, was that, was, how was that experience? Oh, my God, it's, it was phenomenal because, first of all, he's such a humble, humble man. Um, he's a Christian as well. And, you know, so when you walked into that studio, you felt peace. You know, he had a beautiful recording studio up in Nyack where he lived. And, um, and I was really, you know, I didn't really know him, um, until we started, we sat together and started talking about the album and what we were going to do and whatnot. And, and right away, it felt like you were talking to your uncle, like, Tú aquí tranquila, vamos a gozar, <laughs> vamos a aprender. Nice. You know, because I was like, I don't know how to sing on clave. I sing, you know, regular you know, we sing on the beat, like one, yeah, two, yeah. three, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. Over here, when you go singing salsa, you're either on three, two, or two, three. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so to me, it was like, oh, no, I wanted to always go ahead of the clave, or I was behind it. <laughs> but he would sit there <clears throat> with the congas and start, you know, letting me, you know, play beats on the conga. And then he would say, okay, do you feel it? You have to feel, you have to feel the clave. It's not about knowing when to come in but feeling when, you know, feel the clave. And so for a while, we just stood there with headphones on and listening to music, different music and different singers and, and a lot of the old, the Fania All-Star, you know, music, Hector Lavoe, you know, all of that. And, yeah. But when we got to start singing, it was a lot of fun. Like, I didn't get frustrated. I didn't feel like, you know, oh, my God, I can't do this. So you right away you feel like you're a failure. No. It was it was an experience, and if I had to do it all over again, he's he's such a maestro. He's a teacher also of music. So oh wow, it was yeah, it's really good. He 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 knows his craft, and I love to work with people like that. Like when I work now with Edwin Ramos on Siakabo, another person that is um, a teacher. He he he's a musician. He knows the music. He knows you know. It's not, you're not just going in there and you're learning as well. You know what I mean? And I love to be in a studio 
with with producers that I'm also not just going to give my part, but that I'm also going to learn something while I'm there. Right. Well, oh, that, you know, and, and one of the things uh, about this, uh, the Stop the Menace Latino show is that not only I, I enjoy and I, I'm blessed and honored to have this opportunity on Ultra Radio Richmond where where we could mm-hmm. share share these experiences with artists, with musicians. Um, and, yeah. and not only musicians and artists, but, you know, you got you got producers, you got uh, people who 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 mix and, and engineer and, and produce yeah. music. And, and I, I love to have those those here to interview, too, because they also mm-hmm. take part of this magic that um, these artists have. You know, you guys Absolutely. give all your energy and your voice. But lo que viene detrás de eso, ¿verdad? You know? Yes. Absolutely. You're absolutely right about that. But the good thing about all of this is that in, in those those two people that I work with, not only did they produce and not only did they arrange, but they also were the engineer and they also mastered it, you know. So they they wear a lot of the hats, you mm-hmm. know. And I love live music. Live music is so beautiful, you know. Sometimes when you come from freestyle, you're, everything is beats, right? So yeah. nothing... Aside from the piano, the keyboards is sometimes the only thing that's really like even live because you got the drum beats that's that's um, electronic, you know, and whatnot. But with with the Latin music, every instrument comes in there and it's playing live, and you're actually seeing every note come to life, and that's so beautiful. Like for Asiakavo, we had the strings and. Oh my God, it was wow, you know. <laughs> nice, nice. That was a good experience, beautiful. huh? Huh? Yeah, oh, that was a good experience, huh? Oh, absolutely. And I'm ready to do it again. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm already writing and because I know this is a remake of La Lupe, se acabó, yeah. but I I'm writing now um my own song. So the next song is going to be an original that I'm doing. Nice. Nice. So I had when when I when I started off the show um well, usually I mm-hmm. I like to talk a little bit of bio of, about the artist and I play mm-hmm. a song here that that um that you had sang and I got it, I got it, and I played it, which was just your uh-huh. vocal, and and uh-huh. la canción se se llama No Soy la Mujer. I, I'm I'm uh-huh. like, listen, I'm blown away because I I I put in the just the vocal song so like that people could listen to, you know, your true <laughs> voice, Chrissy. It's just it's just blown. I mean, your voice is beautiful. You got a and you got a strong voice, and it's and it's awesome because now now you're 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 giving us that 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 talented voice in the salsa genre you know and Thank it is you. and it's true what you said that that it, you know la 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 salsa la salsa you you got all these different um musical instruments that are just blended in to come up mm-hmm. with a product and 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 what's amazing too i think i think what um I, i'm just speaking from from experience and my personal opinion that I, you know, when you see these these artists and these bands and these groups and these orquetas live, you know, on stage, mm-hmm. you really get to enjoy and love more the artists and the band and the group because now you can see that, you know, it's different when you're hearing it on the album, but it's definitely right. different when you're seeing them on stage. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the whole experience that I love about doing this music is that you get to see it live and you see every single instrument and sometimes it could get you could extend the song even longer if you wanted to right yeah you could keep you know you could put the montunos and then you go (laughs) yeah oh yeah oh my god it's so much fun yeah you go on forever so it's like a big party (laughs) it is (laughs) it is stop the madness so a little bit more um let's talk about your music video that they it just released this friday right it actually, yeah, it premiered last Friday okay. uh, that just passed. It's on the Chubano, um, Chubano Entertainment channel on YouTube. It'll also be the, the we have like three versions that are going to come out. What with The original, which is what everyone saw on Friday. And then in about another week or so, the director's cut. Like, oh, wow. Stuff that I didn't want, let's say, you know, you, you're working with, with two people have different visions, right? So yeah. I, I thank God that I was able to work with Pedro Vasquez, who's also a photographer, and he has his um, his photography company called P Vaz, P V A Z as in zebra, and that was his first video. He's an amazing photographer, but he never did a video, and so 
I love working with people and giving them those opportunities as well. And I said, well, I want you to be the first one to do my video, you know. And so he he has some visions for the video with these TV screens that some of them were edited out. But he's going to do the director's cut, like his version that he put together of mm -hmm. Se Acabo, um, which is really nice too and so that'll be coming out in about another week or so and then I'm I love I love to wear all kinds of hats so I love to edit too you know yeah and so I'm gonna do my own edit for the video like all these little snippets that I put those are my little snippets that I I put out I'm gonna probably do my own little edit um so it'll be the artist the artist version of Jacobo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I, I truly believe also that um when when you share those of the making of the video, you you uh -huh. know the 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 fans and and the people who who are watching this could kind of feel like they're part of something. You know what I'm saying? So like it makes yeah. them feel like oh wow, I didn't, you know this this took place and oh this is how you do this. I, I think by sharing yeah. that, by sharing that stuff right there, um, it 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 it, it draws in your audience. Um, that's just yeah. popping. Yeah, I think I think I, I believe love, in that. I love to do that. I I love. I even did that when we were recording Siakavo in um in the studio, in Platinum Recordings. Um, we did that. We I always I was constantly before the song was um they it came out. I would love. I was always putting up those behind the scene little snippets because your fans want to see that. You know, it's yeah. like you can't bring them all there, but you can show them like what goes on behind the scenes, and it, it could ex inspire someone who wants to be a singer one day to see that and 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 say, "Wow, this is something that's so cool." Because that's how it was for me. You know. Somebody brought me into a recording studio, and I knew that from that point on, even though I knew when I was little I always wanted to sing, but I felt like when I went walked into an actual recording studio that I felt like this is where I'm supposed to be. This is yeah, where yeah. I felt the most me, <laughs> nice. you know? Yeah. So. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Chrissy, Aiz, that's what's <laughs> up. So what made you, okay, so Aiz, Aiz, so tell, tell us a little bit so, something about the Aiz. What's oh God! That everybody changes it. They go, I see, I see. They some people don't get it on the first try. Okay, so am, did I get it right or did I get it wrong? You you got it right. You said oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said Stop it right. the madness! Stop <laughs> the madness! That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it como es como es Everybody chops it up. That name came about. Uh huh. The way that that name came about, and it was Will and More from. You know, Will Del Valle. That yeah, yeah, I remember, more, yeah. Right? He sings, you'll never find another love. Well, him. He gave me that name because originally when I I was coming out as a freestyle artist, I didn't want to use my regular name, which is Christine Hernandez. I mm -hmm. was like, that's so corny. So I said, well, people always called me India, but already India had been yeah. out yeah. doing her thing. Um, and so I said, well, I could be Chrissy, and somebody said, well, you should have another name with it. So we would be in the studio, and every time I was recording Love Desire, if I would hit a flat note or a sharp note, I get, you know, being a Latina, we go, ay, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. if, if you've seen it, if your wife or anybody around your sisters or whatever they'd be like, ay, ay. yeah, yeah, you know, that's like, ay, that's that's a Spanish ay, that's a Spanish word, like yeah, that. yeah. And so this was me. I Stop said, ay, money. and Will goes, ay, ay, it's like tranquila. Oh, there ay. you go, there ay. you go. That's so how we got said, started. You know what? I'm gonna call you Chrissy, ay. <laughs> nice. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we now we got ay, the big se quedo. secret. I se se quedo. Quedo. <laughs> <Say I come. laughs> that's my new thing like you know that's everything every time we talk about something and we always end it yeah, se acabo. <laughs> yeah that yeah that is true good good yeah that was a good way okay so you know stop the madness is a phrase that i used to use when i was on the trail when i was a drill sergeant um back uh, uh -huh. a long time ago and and uh -huh. and i had to change my vocabulary uh, because my vocabulary okay. was not not well taken <laughs> uh, when I was on a trail, <laughs> so I had to change a, a phrase. So stop the madness came out about that, you know. So okay, so it, it, give us. I like us, that. That's so it, cool. It, it is, and, and you know, it was something I, I I said it. I don't know. People like people like man, you say that a lot. It's just it's just a habit, you know. I've I've used it on a, when I was a drill sergeant. Now, I just I think everybody that surrounds from you know around me. 
they get stuck uh-huh. with it. <laughs> you know, so. So wait then, a minute. Wait, hold on a second. So you were you were a drill sergeant. Yes. So yeah. like, if people went to basic training and stuff like that, you were the drill sergeant. Yeah, I was the guy they meet. <laughs> you were the one that, that yells in their face. Well, you a distance, not <laughs> not not not. Come on, not, be honest. Is it like the movie for real? Is it like the movie? All right, it's ninety percent. <laughs> is that 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 temp the, the ten percent is that we don't put our hands on them? <laughs> Absolutely no, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son, is in, my son is in the air force, and when he went to basic training, he said that was like the only thing. He said if I had to do it all again, I would want to skip that part. <laughs> they're like right there in your face. It is a rude you awakening. Can't, you can't even blink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, because you blink, you're like what? My breast stings. <laughs> Yeah, but he says afterwards, after basic training, every you know they were like totally different with you. You know that it's just the process that you have to go through. Yeah, so so getting into the stop the madness, right? So give us <laughs> give us a uh, give us a stop the madness in your in your career, whether you was recording, whether you was on stage, um, where where you look back and you're like stop the madness. I can't believe that just happened to me. Whether it could be an embarrassing moment. Or it could be, yeah. wow, I'm here, like, you, I'm, I'm performing in front of all these people, and I can't believe I'm doing this. So you come back and say, wow, Stop the Madness. So give us a Stop the Madness episode. Okay, I'm going to give you one. So it was, like, at the beginning of, like, when I did Love Desire, and we were performing, and back then it was, like, three shows a night, you know, like, on a Friday, two shows on a Saturday, you would go from Connecticut to Jersey, from Jersey to Massachusetts. So, you know, it was doing a lot of shows. And so one week, one weekend coming up, I was, I, I kind of like in the, during the middle of the week, I started getting like a really bad sore throat. And so I was like, oh my God, how are we going to now? We can't cancel the gig, you know, we can't, you know, cancel and because i didn't have any fever i wasn't sick like that it's just my throat was like you know like laryngitis yeah i said okay well we're gonna have to bring the track and sing you know with the track and so we did that but the <laughs> microphone back then normally i would always have my own mic you know wireless mic or whatever but i didn't have it with me and i had to use one of the cord mics and this was the last Stop, like the last show yeah and here i am on stage with my dancers going all out ready to dance and sing and i'm singing and woo, love desire <laughs> and all of a sudden the cordon the cord just boom, it falls out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly everybody's stop face stop the like, madness <laughs> stop the madness and when I noticed, I saw it like in slow motion. I wanted to go, no. <laughs> and you know what I did? Yo me eché a reír. Oh, my God. Yo I was cracking up. And they and I, I just looked at the, the DJ and I went, stop the music. <laughs> like, stop it. <laughs> and I, put, I, 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 I bent down. I took the cord, plugged it back into the microphone. <laughs> said testing 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 <laughs> I sound like a man and I said I'm really sorry uh, the, I have it's just that my voice is like I have laryngitis wow. whatever. and they were looking at me and I said I didn't want to cancel I wanted to show up and give you guys a show anyway so they were like oh don't worry and I said okay start the music again <laughs> <laughs> we started from the top and the whole crowd was just like yay you know, that I didn't, I didn't is a stop quit, the I madness. Like cry. I wanted to run off the stage and cry, but that's not me. Moments where I get nervous, I laugh. Well, you know what? That's that. You got true fans right there. That's love. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's un amor pa, para lo, lo, you know, tu fanático y la It could have been worse. Imagine if I would have fell. Uh, yeah, that we don't want that. We no. definitely don't want that. But that was that definitely was a stop. That's a stop the madness. <laughs> that is stop the madness. That is right? a good. That is an awesome good story. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. So before, <laughs> yeah. So you know this this show right. The show is two hours. So hopefully um, next month we pick it up. Well, actually in July we're picking it up for three hours because I would love to keep you on and and awesome, and because awesome. you got a good you got good experience especially this good one that you gave us a stop the madness episode. So um you know you being. With your history and your past as a, as an artist, um, so tell us 
if you could give us um the the audience, the listeners, la juventud, especialmente, especialmente la juventud, um a little bit of advice. Uh, what would you give them as um as those chicos y chicas that want to pursue a career in the music business as a singer? Sure. First thing I would definitely say is that if you have if you know every every desire and every dream is placed in you before you already were, be, while you were in your mother's womb. And so when you are born, you already are born with that naturally and pursue it. I would always, I always tell them, you know, pursue it, find who is it that you want to be, not imitate anybody else, but be authentic in who you are and who you want to be as a musician, as a singer, and just pursue it. Don't listen to the noise around you. Stay focused. Don't give up because you're, there's going to be times where you'll be rejected or it may not be, you know, what other people like. But don't let that discourage you to continue to move forward, to have faith in yourself first before anybody else. Nice. And to don't do it to prove a point to people, but to do it because you love it and that's something you want to do. Well, if you focus on, you know, people, then you're always going to be disappointed but when you when you're doing it because you love to do it everyone else is going to love it because they're going to see it's coming authentically from you so that's my advice that i would give you know to somebody that, and deal. don't give up just keep trying i've been at this over 30 years and i sometimes feel that i haven't i've been overlooked a lot and and a lot of people that have been around with me you know um have already made it and I'm still, you know, struggling as a musician, and as an artist, but my journey is a little bit longer, you know, but it, to me, it doesn't feel like, you know, that I have to arrive there at any time. I want to have fun along the way and shake hands and, and, and thank people that have helped me. And thank you, William, for giving me the opportunity and this platform to actually share my story to people that probably never heard of me or never, right. you know, heard me before. So, and just, uh, and pray, always pray, always, always. pray. Talk yes. to God about everything because he knows the future. We don't. And he's the one that opens the doors and closes the doors. And that when he closes right. the doors, because he has something better for you. Good deal. Well, Chrissy Aiz, thank you so much. It is definitely a pleasure and an honor that, that we, we have on uh, Richmond here on Ultra Radio Richmond that um that we you were able to come on and uh and have this wonderful uh interview and not only that but give us a stop the madness uh madness. episode you know I'm, yeah. that's always gonna stay with me on that one <laughs> so <laughs> so Chrissy Hayes, thank you so much um uh much much mira buena suerte con la carrera buena suerte Gracias. con la con la música uh se acabó entonces so um we're definitely looking forward to it. I'm definitely looking forward for more more salsa from you. Yeah. So you, you will definitely be one of the first ones to get it. You have a platform here on Ultra Radio Richmond on Stop the Madness Latino Show. Chrissy, thank you so much and God bless. Yes, yes. And if people want to follow me, they can go directly to my website, which is chrissy-i-e-e-c-e.com, -E -E okay. and from there they can click on. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and follow me everywhere else from there. Y también este, this 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 um, interview is always they're recorded, so they'll be on they'll be on YouTube. So you know, so the fans and and the listeners could, could listen to Perfect. it. All right, yes, well, Chrissy, thank you Definitely. so much. God bless thank you. Cuídate mucho, okay? God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>